It's easy to pick up food at the grocery store, but beyond that apparently routine scene lies an unperceived battlefield. Louisiana's wet climate promotes diverse plant and animal life, helping farmers produce food to eat and fiber for clothes and homes. But with abundant moisture also comes deadly attacks from invaders like weeds. Disease and insect pests. World-class researchers at the Louisiana Agricultural Experiment Station have been quietly waging war against the enemies of plants, people, and property. For well over a century, these soldiers of science and their dramatic discoveries have been Louisiana's front line of defense. Louisiana farmers uh, are faced with probably greater challenges in growing a crop than any other part of the United States. It, it's hard to overstate, I think, the benefit of agricultural research in order to feed the world. If it were not for that work that they do, we would have certainly been taken out by one of those threats some time ago. Over a century ago, national leaders drew up a tactical strategy to help farmers improve production of food and fiber. The Hatch Act of 1887 provided federal funds to help land-grant universities conduct agricultural research through state experiment stations. LSU started the Louisiana Agricultural Experiment Station. It has been the backbone of agricultural research in Louisiana for 125 years. And many of the results and knowledge that we've developed through our research has been important, I think, beyond the borders of, of Louisiana as well, to the nation and even to the international community. We design the research to solve the problems. We deliver that information to the extension agents, and they then translate and deliver it to the stakeholders so that in the end, their problems are solved. Decade after decade, researchers have developed amazing varieties for almost every type of crop. There would likely not be a Louisiana sugar industry. It's just that important to, to keep those scientists developing varieties. Some of the advances here and breeding has kept us farming. I mean, it, it literally, probably every 25 years, the yields have doubled. The experiment station has developed treatments for fighting pests and disease in livestock and crops. Those methods have been used statewide and even worldwide. Agricultural research has typically meant helping produce better food and fiber but it has also led to discoveries well beyond traditional applications, like breakthrough technologies for stopping termites or defeating cancer. I think we can help millions of people around the world with what we're doing. The Agricultural Experiment Station has done other nation-leading research on many different fronts, from coastal restoration to formulating novel biofuels from battling invasive species and damaging diseases to growing healthier landscapes and better timber, the state's top cash crop. The internationally known aquaculture station did research which originated crawfish farming in Louisiana. Researchers have also created new inventions like a recycled product called Tiger Bullets, which helps seal costly leaks in oil pipelines. We have become a national leader in developing proprietary technologies that we have licensed out to major companies. Within the state of Louisiana, we are by far the most successful organization at developing and deploying our inventions. Our research has ramifications beyond the farm gate. It's a, a great engine for economic development that I think is many times overlooked by, by the general public. People livestock and crops are constantly under siege from mutating diseases, insects, and weeds, and relentless forces of nature. The clash between agricultural research and advancing enemies will go on forever. That's why world-class problem solvers have quietly passed through the labs and fields 
of the Louisiana Agricultural Experiment Station. Their amazing discoveries and inventions have improved people's lives, but the battle continues. And that efficiency is only going to be sustained by having the experiment station to be uh, the front line of watching out for us. Agriculture wouldn't exist without research. I'm convinced of it. I'm convinced that as long as we're able to work, we're going to come up with answers. And they'll lead to important things from a plant point of view, an animal point of view, a person point of view.